Let's talk about group three. Group three consists of scandium, yttrium, and, and, seriously, is it just you two? That's hardly a group. Well, we would have brought lanthanum and actinium, or we could have brought lutetium and lorentium. But then, you know, they'd want to bring all their friends, the actinides, the lanthanides. And before you know it, we've got like, you know, 32 elements squeezed in here, and it's utter chaos. So instead, we gave them two groups at the bottom of the table, and yeah, that just left me and scandium. All right, all right. I can work with this. All of the elements in this group, or rather, both of the elements in this group form soft metals with a hexagonal structure. Both scandium and yttrium are used as metal enhancers. Scandium is typically combined with aluminum, while yttrium is combined with titanium, zirconium, and chromium, but they both have the same function, reducing grain size. As a metal cools into a solid, it crystallizes. Yttrium and scandium interrupt the growth of these crystals. Smaller crystals make for a stronger metal because they prevent a fault from spreading. This is known as the Hall-Petch relation. <laughs>